Well, the question of the underwater tunnel is how do you get in there and how do you get out? The tunnel itself is an easy, simple exercise. However, the extent of what is required to bring people in and get people out. That is the big question. Now, if you are going in from Gurney Drive, this is Gurney Drive. One road, one road along the shoreline extending out to as far as where my hands are. Are we going to say that part of this shorefront, seafront, part of history is going to be converted into queuing up space for cars to start slowly going into the tunnel? And where is the tunnel? Which is the alignment of the tunnel? These are questions that we do not know. Then we have also heard the Chief Minister say that the tunnel will be from Pankor Road. Now we all know Pankor Road is a very narrow street full of buildings. It's very congested because all traffic from Burma Road, Upper Burma Road, Plauticus, and Burma Road from town are forced to go into Pankor Road and then from Pankor Road they go out to Northern Road and then to Klawai Road. So how are you going to do that? So there are a lot of questions that concerns us as concerned citizens with respect to the environment and the social well-being of the people. I think if we were to take a footprint of any of the tunnels that we know exists in the world, Hong Kong, Sydney. If you look at the amount of traffic converging into the tunnel, you realize that there is a lot of space required. And do we have the space? That's my concern. With regards to the environmental issue, its impact, we don't have to look very far. We only have to look over here. We are now high tide. When the tide is out, this once beautiful white sandy beach from all the way there is gone. What you have now there are mud flats. Mud. Now where did this mud come from? This mud, mud came from the reclamation further out there. The mangrove used to be a small little colony over there. But because of migration of mud from below the ground that's been brought over here, the mud has gone over the sand and now mangrove starts to grow. So, this has been going on for a number of years. Have the government addressed the environmental impact of this mangrove? on this traditional stretch of recreational space. Now that's a con If they can't address this simple mud issue, how are you going to address the larger problem of the tunnel exiting and ingressing? See, this project is still in its very early stages. What we hope the authorities will do is to study the overall macro environmental impact before proceeding further because unless it is well thought out and I personally believe that bringing the tunnel through to Gurney Drive is a wrong location to all these high rises that you see here is the government trying to tell us that all these buildings will be gone because don't forget if you bring a tunnel through undersea tunnel then you have to have a tunnel underneath the sand then you are going to go below this building that have piles the next livability has always been there without the tunnel Penang will still be a livable city but i have a faint suspicion 
that part of this tunnel is within the paradigm of what the government wants to do. They want Penang to be an industrial city. They want to make Penang an intellectual city and Penang a livable city. To be a livable city, you don't need the tunnel.